Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna sleep right there. Really? I just wanted to do a little shot of room belly, like popped all of a sudden overnight. I feel like. I popped it too. You popped what? My teacher. Little man is not so little so much anymore, right? Oh, look at that. The difference too is that my belly was all down here. Like I had my. I can't really see me so much. Let me come over here. He's still kind of low, but I feel like this is starting to fill in. If this was my abs before, and now it's like definitely he's moving on up. There he is. Getting big, huh? Yes, he is. So. There he is. Ah. All right. Everybody likes bump updates. We're at 19 weeks and two days. Hopefully that means we're already halfway there. Pardon our appearance. We were literally in the process of getting ready to go out and our plans got canceled while we were in the process. So I was like, I put on some makeup, which is kind of fewer and further between as the days progress. So why don't we make a video? She looks beautiful. Thank you. We got two really good questions for Adam that I think were so good for us to address. The first one is, do you think now knowing that it's a boy, because when we did our this or that video, which I will post a link to up there, it was so much fun. Adam had mentioned how if we were having a little girl, this is before we knew the gender, then she would be daddy's little girl. She could do no wrong. He would be like, go ask your mother if you wanted to say no, but couldn't. Now knowing that it's a little boy, do you think because of your past, you'll be more strict with him because little boys are a little more mischievous. They get in more trouble. Knowing how much trouble you got in when you were a young boy. What do you think about that? Am I gonna be more strict be Let's simply start because he's a boy? Like, is that the question? So, do you think? Yes. Yeah, that's the question. No. But you think you'll be a different, like I think I would be very different with a girl than I would with a boy, but I would be more strict Absolutely. on a girl. Absolutely. I don't want to say more strict. Strict I think is the wrong word. Good, good. actually that's a really good no. uh, pregnancy brain distinction. I think with a boy, it's more my responsibility to model mm. certain behaviors. It's just a little bit different with a girl. I feel like the relationship, it's just a different relationship. Same I don't with the mommy. think a little girl is going to look to me. They say little girls look to their fathers for what they want in a man. So I would hope to be able to model that. Yeah. But that's her, what she's looking for in someone else, yeah. not necessarily what's in her. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the difference would be for me with a boy would be to make sure I'm right there to guide and support him, to encourage him, to really bring out the best in him, to be more supportive. And again, in modeling that, all of the things that I want to see in him, I'm more inspired to be more visible or be more vocal in those regards to help, you know, bring that out of him. Yeah, I think he's gonna be your little sidekick. And God, I hope I can say this without getting emotional because I've just, my hormones have been. I cry all the time about things that are touching nowadays, which is good, I'm not sad. Well, that's funny because I've been doing the same thing. So. You got my, uh, my. Um, it's, gotta, it's gotta be your Sympathy? Own. Exactly. It's funny that you said that little girls seek out in their father what they want in a man. And I think that's the first thing I said to my dad when I introduced you to him was, I told you I waited all these years for somebody who has all of your best qualities and here he is. And originally, honestly, we thought we wanted a girl just because I know girls best, daddy's little girl. But after we had our gender results and we found out it was a little boy, I think that I'm more excited for a boy than a girl because they don't make men like you anymore. And you have so many incredible masculine qualities that I think you're gonna be amazing. You're gonna be such a good boy, dad. He's gonna be your little sidekick. Like, like you Don't need, you need a little, we need a little boy because there need to be more men in this world like you who respect women the way you do, who have the work ethic, ethic like you do, who just have that balance in life. Like you've worked so hard for so many years to cultivate in yourself. That wasn't easy, but you did it. And he's, he's a very lucky little boy. Yes. So the next question is along similar lines. Back to what you said. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to acknowledge it. For those who don't know your father, I know how much you love, respect, mm. admire him. Yeah. So for you to say that, yeah. because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, they don't, I understand the significance of that. And yeah. that means a lot to me to hear you say that. So I just wanted to add that as well. Yeah. So knowing your past, 
do you fear having a little boy who could potentially go down the same path as you get himself in trouble and wind up maybe in prison one day or who, who knows what, but is that a fear in your mind because it's something that happened to you in your life? Not a chance. I'm confident like that's not even, it has, honestly, it's never crossed my mind. Actually it's me neither. Not even a consideration. I mean, I appreciate the question. I understand where it's coming from, but just the way that both of us are at this point, I think there are so many things that we appreciate probably more than most people because of what we went through to get to this point. We're at a stage in our lives where like the significance of everything, of having a child, it just means so much more. And everything that we do is so much more intentional. Yeah, good point. So in us raising a child, like we've had so we've had so much more time to really think about it. And that's not to say people don't think about it, but you know, a lot of relationships, you know, people end up having a child like early on in the relationship and they really haven't gone through or gotten to know one another. Ooh, he just wanted to say hi to the camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was a good one. When he kicks me on this side, I don't know if his feet are here and his hands are here because I feel it on both sides. When he gets me on this side, it's like strong nowadays. And this is just the beginning. I can only imagine what it's going to feel like. But whew, he wanted to say hi. Go ahead. And I would say it's the depth of our relationship. Having spent so many years developing our communication, which is, mm -hmm. you know, why things have worked for us. And in having these discussions and really knowing what we want and and talking about, like, believe me, we talked about having children and ideally, you know, how we wanted to raise them. So we had much more time to think about it than, than most people, which as difficult as it was to go through all of that, I just sure. think that we are so much more better prepared now. And although admittedly, I know that there are plenty of things that we are not prepared for. You know, I don't it's think anyone first can. Job, like you, just, you can't prepare for that. Yeah. It's just you have to learn as you go. I think no matter how many people tell you their experience, everybody's is different. And I think even that part we appreciate so much more. Like true, we can really just at this stage of our lives enjoy the experience and not knowing, and just you know be excited about it. Yeah, and I think another thing going back to you know your past and fearing his future. We didn't speak about this a lot while you were on the inside because you took take accountability for what you've done in your past. However, you had some male influences in your life when you were at, the, at a developmental point in your life who purposely led you down a wrong criminal path. Now, disclaimer, you are responsible for your own actions. You were responsible for your own actions. You had a Absolutely. choice. Yeah. However, these people were Still influential, very influential. Very influential and almost like threatening at points, correct? And dominating, let's say that. Okay, better word. Certain influences are are much stronger than others. Right. And especially when you're someone who's looking for that, you know, and it's why people get caught up in gangs. It's why people get caught up in so many things when they're, you know, especially young men. Yeah. Looking for, you know, someone to follow. And that's what we were talking about earlier. You know, as far as, I not just want to be able to model these, I want to be able to lead my son and, yeah. and teach him what that means. And I recall from, you know, some of the individuals that I grew up with, uh, I remember a couple of those fathers who, I'm not talking about being heavy handed authoritarians, I'm talking about guys that a friend of mine who gave me a quote and it wasn't the quote that was most significant, although it's a great Martin Luther King quote. He said, this is my favorite quote from a non family member. And I know that he was talking about his father because I've heard him quote his father. Wait, and how's his father not a family member? From no, he gave the Martin Luther King quote. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that part. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. From a non-family member. Got it. He frequently quotes family. That's amazing. Like, how, amazing. how amazing is that? Yeah. And his father's an amazing guy. That's yeah. great. And I didn't have a full appreciation for that at the time. I saw their relationship. I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing what they have. But it's now looking back on that that I see the significance of it. Yeah. And... 
I have that, like, I have something that to aspire to. Yeah. You know, like, that's the type of father I want to be. Yeah. You know, I want my son to, to respect me in that manner, not to fear me. You know, like, I, I don't think that's healthy. I just want him to respect and hopefully at some level admire what we've gone through and appreciate you know, the fact that we really, really wanted to bring him into this world and want to give him the best possible life and teach him all the right things and make sure that we do everything to, to set him on the right path in life, which I have no doubt. We're going to support and encourage him and affirm him every step of the way. We already do. We say affirmations yeah. to the belly, but also, and you know, you do the best you can as parents and then the child, like we said about you, has free sure. choice and they're going to do what they're, what they do. But I think you said the, in the most perfect way, you don't want him or I don't want him for our baby to, as he gets older, fear us. I want him to be able to communicate with us and tell us things if he's had too much to drink at a party when he's in high school or college or older than 21 call us, we'll pick you up. I never could. I always felt so fearful of things with my family. They raised us very old school, very strict. In a way, that was great because it kept me on the right track where I wouldn't do things because God forbid my father found out. I would be murdered, not really, but, but also there were things that I would do that could put me in harm's way because I didn't want to pick up the phone in the middle of the night. Although my parents told me I could do that anytime I needed to, I felt like there would be horrific repercussions and I want to be able to have that open line of communication with him so that he knows that you know, no matter what we'll work through stuff, no matter how bad it is, he has both of us on his side to help him. Not saying that we're going to condone bad decisions or every bad decision, but we'll help him. Yeah. I can't wait for him to come. I'm dying to know what he looks like. I'm dying to hear his Lots cry. Lots. Lots of, of hair. hair. I actually saw a doctor say yesterday that hair causing heartburn is not act is not necessarily a wives' tale. Like there's something in the enzymes with the hair they think that does call the cause all the heartburn. So he's probably gonna get this the row fro. Yeah, that's that's great. Really big hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I think. I think that answered everything. Anything else you want to say about parenting or our wish for how we're going to parent? Because every child is different, born with their own personality. So um, he's going to be very healthy. I mean, that's inevitable. He's, he's already very healthy. He, all he wants are like fruits, vegetables, avocado. He loves avocado. I crave avocado all the time. What else does he eat? A lot of eggs. He loves eggs. A lot of eggs. Seafood, fish. He eats a lot. He loves vegetables. Well, that's, you know, we're intentionally, again, trying to introduce him to those things early on. Yeah. But it's more him than me. Like, I, I, I can't eat sugar. I don't like sugar. Normally, I have the sweetest tooth on the planet, and I just avoid sugar because I know it's not good for me. He doesn't like it. I can't put it in my mouth. It makes me sick. Makes I'm him. proud of him. All Takes right. after his daddy. He's going to be healthy and strong and know whatever he wants to do as far as we're going to encourage him to be active, not just eat healthy, but you know, it's the lifestyle that we live. And that's what I talked about modeling certain behaviors and leading by example. I think he's doing all right. He did a double session at CrossFit today and he ran circles around his dad. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, that's, he's going to get everything that we got. He's going to get everything that we got. We have saved up for a long time for him. All the best that we have. I agree. So I think that's all I've got. What do you, <laughs> no pun. I didn't mean to say it like that, but yes. do you have anything else? No. I think that's it. All right, we love you guys. Thank you for those great questions. If you have more questions, put them in the comments of this video. We are happy to answer them. That was kind of a great combo between prison life or this new after prison adventure that we're on. So we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.